Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Sarah. Today's episode is really dedicated to two of my fantastic subscribers and friends, Bridget and her mum. And they live in Arizona and Minnesota. The episode is all about how to make a delicious hibiscus herbal tea. It can be drunk in the summer, deliciously cooled with some ice cubes and a slice of lemon. Or it can also be drunk in the slightly cooler months as a warming hot drink. I'm going to start by showing you what hibiscus looks like. I picked these up while I was on holiday in Aswan, Egypt. However, I have previously bought these on Amazon where they were also imported from Aswan and they tasted just as good. And here we can see what the hibiscus flower looks like up close. Hibiscus is a plant that grows along the River Nile and it can grow from about three to six feet in height. It produces a bright red flower the flowers are harvested and they are then left to dry in the desert sun for about three days. To make the hibiscus drink, I start by measuring out how many teaspoons I'm going to need. And I do this by deciding on how many cups of hibiscus I'm going to make. So for example, if I'm planning to make two cups of the hibiscus drink, then I will measure out two heaped tablespoons of the hibiscus flour. Once I've measured out how much hibiscus I'm going to need, I rinse the hibiscus with some cold water. I then measure about three and a half cups of cold water. The reason I add the extra half cup of water is because the hibiscus flour does, does absorb a lot of water while it's brewing. So the extra water just allows for some of that expansion as I prepare the drink. Hibiscus has quite a sour flavor, similar to cranberry juice, and it has many health benefits. It's naturally rich in vitamin A, it's high in vitamin C, and it's also high in iron. Multiple studies have also shown that hibiscus is effective at lowering blood pressure. It's thought to reduce blood sugar levels, and it is also naturally calorie and caffeine free. However, as with everything in life, moderation is important. So you can see how much the flour expands once you've added the water. I'm planning to enjoy my hibiscus tea with some Italian aniseed biscottis I made earlier and I've added some honey to my hibiscus herbal tea. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Mmm, delicious.